Hi, it's Lisa. It is Marriage and Money Mondays. Hey, so let's pretend that you were given a bank account that had $100,000 in and you were the custodian of that account. And as custodian, you got to make all of the decisions. You got to um, make all of the investment choices. And at the end of a year, whatever was in that account, you got to keep. What would you do with your time and energy as it related to that account? I know what I would be doing. I'd be checking on it, I would be loving on it, I would be advocating for it, I would be researching ways to make it better, I would be supportive of anyone that had access to it, I would be touching that thing on a regular basis, okay? Are you with me? Let's assume for a second that the account in question was your spouse. Mm. Are you loving on it? Are you touching it? Are you advocating for it? Are you, does the act, do the actions that you put towards that account actually translate to the actions that you put towards your spouse? Oh my goodness. Ouch. I'm guilty, guys. I am guilty. We all are because we're human and we fall short every single day. But here's the thing that I know. We serve a Lord of second chances. And if he gives us second chances, can't we give second chances to our spouse? If he loves us and shows us grace and mercy, can't we show grace and mercy to our spouse? If he has compassion towards us, can't we have compassion towards our spouse? You know, I just really implore, that's a a deep, deep word, implore you to treat your spouse as if it is a, he or she is a valuable possession. And when you do that, you will see incredible change and shift in how they love you and how your marriage blossoms. That is not what I planned on saying today. So that means somebody needs that. So I hope that's helpful. Bye.